Karlak, what? Karlak, what are you doing? Car Karlak, stop! Oh no, of course Sistarin would speak on this. Oh yeah, this doesn't look good at all. Welcome back, my oodles and noodles, to more Baldur's Gate 3. Had a little bit of a shorter episode last time, I do apologize. Trying to keep these short and sweet for obviously my sanity and for your guys' as well, but we finally got to add a new addition to our party. We've been adding a lot of new additions to our parties recently, and... What better way to talk about that than in the recap? Okay, since setting out on our magical adventure, we've gained so many new friends. First, it started with Gale, Shadowheart, and Astarian. Then we ended up saving Halzen from the Goblin Camp. Then we ended up saving the Druid's Grove from the Goblin Camp and meeting Will. Then, then we ended up recruiting Karlak by offering her our assistance in killing some people that she wants dead. And we're totally okay with that because she's super cool. Already gives me good vibes and seems like Shadowheart's already got a weird girl, girl, cr girly crush on her, okay? Very, very aggressively up front. Our current main quest involves finding a way to remove the Mind Flayer Parasite. We ended up meeting some cultists who worship a deity called the Absolute. One of them could telepathically communicate with us, which means we were they were infected too. There was, seems to be a lot of infected people and they all seem to worship one person or one deity, the Absolute. Halzen said that the illithid parasites had been altered by followers of the Absolute. If we want answers, we need to head to the cult space at Moonrise Towers. We detoured a little off our main quest. After recruiting Karlak, we said we'd help her defeat the paladins hunting her. So that's kind of where we are. We're, we're with Karlak. She's joined our adventure and our party as some really big brew, and I love it. Because she's got so many more hit points than all of my other characters. <laughs> oh. Oh. Survival fail. I don't like that at all. Let's back up, <laughs> shall we? Let's go up here. I believe I saved it, so we should be good. I hope that the paladins aren't Will, but it's very possible that they are. Ooh. Sh okay. I also talked a little bit about this yesterday. A baguette. Yeah, let's pick up a baguette. But I seem to do a lot of... I, I seem to do a lot of fighting first, ask, que ask questions later, and that shouldn't be... <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't be my first instinct. My first instinct should not be. Oh god, I'm encumbered. Crap. Oh, I ate poisoned apples. That's god damn it. I just wanted to get rid of some of the weight on my person. Oh. Stop that. Oh, she's good then. We're chill, we're chill. I need to stop just attacking people at random just because I think that they're gonna kill me and just give people the benefit of the doubt a little bit better. Wait, why is this refugee dead? Why Why is she just totally chill? Siri, Cyril, why is there a dead person? Away from us, you hear? Me, the beast. Now that's fucking rich. <laughs> okay, she doesn't want to talk to us anymore. Why is there just a dead guy? And why, what, there's like a rumbling weird noise, a water pump. I don't know what I'm going to find in here. Why do I keep picking up random apples? Let's just, let's just get going. Let's, let's go in here. <laughs> Please, no more. Leave us in peace and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please, we just want to go home. Hmm, Karlak, you better be right. You can't just be attacking people. You'll need to convince me you're not who she says you are. Karlak, these people seem harmless. You can drop the act. I know you're servants of Zeriel. There was a dead guy sitting in a bedroll. He can't be all that innocent if there was just a random dead guy in the other room. Insight, is, uh, assess his posture, his eyes. Is he telling the truth? Yeah. There we go. All right. Are you telling the truth? There's something in the squint of his eye. You suspect he's lying. Enough of the charade. I know who you really are. Enough. I'll not play pretend anymore. Karlak, you're going home in pieces if needs must. And you, you'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. Oh, hell no. Ernest was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back! <gasps> Go off, girl! Go off! Attack this this guy. I will attack you. I will I will protect you, Karlak. Don't worry about it. There we go. Oh my. I'm never going back. 
And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, they'll find nothing but a pile of ash. Oh, easy, Karlak. Those flames are getting big. Zariel won't get near you again. We'll make sure of that. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger. <laughs> There's something so awesome about somebody who... who's... Who, whoa. Karlak, what... Karlak, what are you doing? Car, Karlak, stop! Karlak, what are you doing? What is she doing? Car, Karlak! What are you doing? Please stop! What is she doing? <laughs> she's, going, she's going crazy. She's going crazy! Oh, oh my... Oh my god, oh my god, uh... We're going to camp. She needs to chill. Karlak needs to chill. <laughs> oh my god. I should have calmed her down. I, I should have calmed her down. I didn't know what was going on. Now I do, and now I'm scared. <laughs> oh my god. I was gonna say, there's something so awesome about someone who's, whose passions bubble close to, the per close to the surface. That's- oh my god. That scared me a little bit. <laughs> What's the story? Oh, she's like, yeah, no big deal. Sorry, I kind of went berserk and tried to kill everyone with my fire. <laughs> I'd like to hear how you ended up fighting with the blood war. In your expert opinion, what's the best way to kill a devil? This isn't where I thought you'd end up. I'd end up. How about you? So, about the Tau pull powers. You'll need to stay behind at camp. No, thank you. Hi, Hazen. Who the hell are you? Oh, it's Will. Karlax all fire and fury. I pray to the triad it doesn't consume her. Oh, now he's all chill? I'm so confused. Why, he he wanted to kill her at first. That's interesting. He doesn't like Karlak, but yet he is totally fine with her being at our camp. That's very odd, isn't it? Let's talk to Astarian. I did miss that face, you know. Stop. No. Tell me about your history. How does someone become a vampire exactly? So about you biting me? Nah. We'll do- we'll do chit chat for another day. Let's sleep. Long rest. We have a lot of camp supplies too. Here we go. One horn. The stink of Avernus. Advocatus Diaboli. Well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Karlak. The Archdevil Zeriel's gladiator. Come to burn the sword coast to ash. Oh my. Oh my god, I look so beat up. Karlak's fire really hurt me a lot. She destroyed the ladder. Like, in her fit of rage, she destroyed the one ladder we needed to get down. <laughs> You've got it all wrong, Will. Karlak's not about to hurt anyone. The two of you have met before, I see. I brought you your target, Will. Why don't you do the honors? Oh my god. Well, you got it all wrong, Will. Well, not counting the fuckers that need a good hurting. Shut it, devil. I know your kind. A heart darker than a shadow's nightmares. You'd cut a child's throat just to taste the blood. I'm sorry, devil. no. I didn't take the blade for a fool. I... A great fire roars through you. The fire of the first hell. You are Karnak, tearing through demons across a blood-red landscape of fire and volcanic cinder. The front lines of the Blood War. With every swing of her axe, Karlak fulfills Mistress Zariel's purpose. I don't like the Zariel. Clear a summer sky. It's over, Karlak. It's time you feel the sting of the blade. I've tried to tell you. I'm not what you think I am. Will, if you attack her, I'm gonna have to kill you. Slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Will shudders with Karlak's desperation. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of- Oh. Helm, I- No, I will not be tricked. You saw the truth. I may be an effective soldier, but I never wanted to serve Zariel. Legged it away from her the first chance I got. And yet you served. 
See, this is where the stuff gets good. Like, I know Astarian and Shadow Horror and Gale are kind of like the OGs. And Lazel, who we don't have, are all like originals in my mind. But I'm like, I'm sitting here like, dang, this is good. I'm into it. Stand down. You saw what I saw. Karlik is not a danger. Be practical. She's infected. Same as us. We need allies, not enemies. I should never have trusted you, Karlak. You're as good as dead. <laughs> God. Ooh, you want to fight, Will? I'll give you one. No, no. Let's do, let's be practical. She's infected. Same as us. No. <gasps> oh. Oh. Gods, you are stubborn. Karlak's not a devil and you know it. You saw like, Karlak's thoughts. She poses no threat to the Sword Coast. You're right, let us cut her down. It's, it's you I don't trust, Will. You wanted to fight, you've got it. You saw Karlak's thoughts. She poses... Um, hmm. She poses no threat. You know monsters better than anyone. Everyone approved! See I'm not a devil. You don't know what this means. You don't know what you're asking me to do. I'm asking you to live, Will. I don't want to hurt you. And to be frank, I'd rather not find out how the Blade got his name. I swear to you, on all I am, I am not what you think. Shit! Shit. Aw, that's kind of sad. Sorry, Will. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was going to have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Yeah, thanks to you. Hey. I. That's so beautiful. Trust. Look at that. I, you, Karlak. I promise not to lose sight of it. Even when the hells burn hottest. Okay, you don't don't lay it on thick, buddy. All right, Carlax ours. I will get friend jealous. That's a real thing. I do I do get friend jealous. Okay. Glad Will saw sense. Even more glad he decided to stick around. Takes a pretty slick mover to track down old Carlax. Does it? You're pretty loud. I'm I'm glad he's joined us too. Glad you two can make peace. I'm keeping an eye on him. If he turns on you again, he's dead. He won't. Hmm. Someone wrong-footed him about me, and I'm betting we'll find out who before long. I don't know if I really want to talk to Will. He's not very interesting to me. You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. What's that supposed to mean? Lay it out plainly, Will. Someone set you on Karlak's tail. I'd like to know who. I can say only this. Karlak's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. Hmm. One night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted and I'll pay my penance. What? Penance? Should I be worried? Good. Then I deserve answers. Intriguing. A chance to see the blade squirm, perhaps. Should I be worried? I'm not in any danger. I promise. I can't say the same about me. Oh. Well, you know, I'm going to protect all my party members, okay? Alike. But, yeah, that is concerning. God. Carly, can I sleep with you? I feel like I could just make... I could just snuggle up right here. Her tail's going right through the floor. Okay, that's interesting. Do we get another visitor from our dream visitor? No. Nope, doesn't look like it. You know, I've got a lot of like like random stuff in my inventory all the stuff that i could like use to sell but i don't i haven't needed to buy anything yet so i'm just like hoarding a bunch of stuff felt good letting off a little steam after facing off with those ignots car like you almost killed us a little longer than it should how could you withstand the heat i i like the look of it careful soldier if i burn any hotter i might explode <laughs> Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. Oh, how the hell? Wait. How the hells did you get an infernal engine for a heart? You have a mechanic for your heart? What does the engine allow you to do? Uh, you have a mechanic for your heart? Wild, right? And believe it or not, I'm one of Zariel's least mutilated pets. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. 
Let's save the Scar show for later. After we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. Oh, stop tempting me with a good time, Karlak. They let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things if I can find him. Have we met this tiefling? Is it Zedlar? Interesting. I'll keep an eye out for someone like that. Yeah. Thanking you. A tune-up would give this rust box of mine a new lease of life. You don't need anyone else, Carlac. You just need me. I'll help you fix that heart. Whoa, that was weird. Okay, well, we did that. I want to... I want to finish everything that's over here, but this seems like a whole new area. I'm almost thinking we should go back and finally show down with Auntie Ethel. God, this bog is so scary. It's like night and day. All right, let's go save the damsel in distress, shall we? Let's go, let's go talk to Auntie Ethel. Auntie Ethel's got some, uh, I got some beef with her. It's an insect. I'm sure you'll survive. Besides, it probably figured you for a tasty treat. Dude, why is Shadowheart flirting so much with Karlak? A diminutive creature sporting a red hat glares at you. You recognize the red cap. A fey creature known for its bloodlust. Oh. <sighs> Very charming. Is the creature pretending to be a sheep? Oh, interesting. So if we hadn't uncovered the bog, would this creature be a sheep? Gross. What are you doing? Take a deep breath and say, bah. <laughs> okay, okay. We got away from him. That's good. Poisoned apples. Oh, this is where I got the poisoned apples. I was like, where did I get all these poisoned apples? Why did I eat a poison apple? I do not like. <laughs> uh, wait, let's go to the, the. Oh, there's a portal over here. That's good. I was, I was like, I don't. <gasps> whoever killed them did a masterful job. The brothers. They didn't let me help. They died trying to get their sister. Damn it. Dear Joel and Demir, don't get mad. I mean it. I'm only leaving this note so you don't panic and do something stupid. I'm going to the hag. I owe it to Connor to make things right. You know he'd do the same for me. I'll be back soon, so not a word to mom. All right. Oh, poor guys. They should have waited for me. There's someone up here. Who's this? Gendril. Ah, stranger. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul metallic and sickly sweet powdered iron vine an old hunter's trick most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me true you're a monster hunter i'm surprised i thought all girl were vagrant cutthroats you know, Astarian doesn't usually get a lot of, like, dialogue scenes. I like when he chimes in. Not because we have a connection or anything. It was a one-time thing, all right? Don't 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 get ahead of yourselves. Say nothing. Pardon, but who or what is a gur? I knew you were a jackass, but a racist. I'm shocked. Ignore the elf. He talks too much. Say nothing. And more. We steal chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters. The list goes on. Whoa. I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. So what monsters are you hunting? If I were cutthroat, I wouldn't admit it either. True. <laughs> I have no proof to offer but my word. If you wish it, our paths need not cross again. I'm hunting a vampire spawn. And it's a little too bright for you to be my prey. His name is Astarian, but I fear he's gone to ground. I hope the hag of these lands can help me flush him out, if I can afford her blood price. Oh no, of course Astarian would speak on this because he's hunting him, okay. And when you find this Astarian, you'll kill him? Only a spawn, pity, not like it's a real vampire. Time for us to go. Good luck with your quest. Well, here he is. This is Astarian. What? What? You'll kill him? Question mark? Not this time. My orders are to capture him. Oh. Uh, and bring him where exactly? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. 
Hmm. Uh, good luck with your quest. Only a spawn. Pity. Not like, wait. I don't want to piss off Astarian. I feel like we've done so good with him. What's the dialogue history again? Time for us to go. Good luck with your quest. Thank you. Treating with a hag. I need all the luck I can get. May your road be kind. Hmm. Level five. I don't want him to team up against us and take a Starion. So he's going to go and haggle with the hag. Not on my watch. I protect all my party members. Here we go. Here's the hag. Fetid smell assaults your nostrils. Dead flesh lies below. A great deal of it. Oh, I knew, I knew. I knew that this uh, Auntie Ethel was basically the witch from Hansel and Gretel. Come to my house, children. It's full of candy. Not dead bones and riled corpses. No, not at all. All right, um, let's open. Oh, Auntie Ethel. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. Oh? If it isn't the oh yeah, she is pregnant, I forgot. Of them all, you'd best have one hells of an apology hmm. for young lady. You must have mistaken me for someone else. I don't think I did, dearie. <laughs> and frankly, you're thick for saying so. You know, I was going to give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door. But I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it. Marina, your brothers are dead. Um, <clears throat> I want to try to get cheeky with these answers. That's Marina? I have some bad news for her. The lady doesn't seem to enjoy her dinner. Do you treat all your guests so poorly? You said you had something for the parasite. The lady doesn't seem to be enjoying her dinner. Do you treat all your guests so poorly? Hmm. Watch that tone, sweetie. You want to be in my good books. Trust me. I want to kill you. That wriggler in your head isn't going to get its damn self out, is it? Well, I don't think you actually can get it out. Are you saying you can remove it? I'm dealing with it. <clears throat> Something isn't right. That woman, why is she with you? Busy bodies are not appreciated around. Appreciated. I'm inclined to agree. Let's not involve ourselves in this place any more than necessary. I'll talk about your Riggler, and that's it. Last warning. I could attack. No, clearly this woman is in trouble. <laughs> You want to play the hero so badly? Fine. Let's make this interesting. I'm so curious. How evil is she? Oh yeah, this doesn't look good at all. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, wow. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump. And then we're going to go ahead and... What are we going to do here? High defense. Let's luck, luck of the far realms. Oh, what's that, Auntie Ethel? Crazy. Level five? We got this. What? Auntie Ethel, where are you going? Enjoy playing with your new friends? Is she gonna sick some new people on us? I wish I would stop burning. Auntie Ethel, come on. I need to go, I need to figure out a way how to get through. So I could jump. I mean, that looks like a whole cave. Maybe there's another magic mirror? Jump. Ooh, enjoy your new friends. I wonder if there's anything suspicious I should probably be aware of. Probably use wooden stairs. Whoa! Oh, I got. I I see what happened. I okay. I I got it. All right, this is evil. This is an evil place. Someone yelled at me. You are as thick as they come, sweetness. Oh God, she's so horrible it's looking. My personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out. Tell me where Mar Marina is, or what? I think I'll stay a while. Forgive me, I'll leave right away. Or what? Oh, 
Worked up cocky ones are my favorite to chew on. Keep going, Pickle. And you'll find out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I feel like this is going to be a pretty hard quest. But I can't help but, like, be intrigued. Oh. So, interesting. My sweet Callum, whose beloved asked that his beauty never fades. So this is like a, yeah, this is like a full place of where like she keeps everyone prisoner and each one's got like a personal torture at hell. Magron, I wonder if this is a puzzle or if it's just straight up a torture chamber. Oh, so she has no eyes anymore. Oh, that's, I, I'm seeing what she's doing here. If you want her help, she twists your request into something terrible there's someone might still be alive over here though you feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils it can't let people through not again wait okay wait i i didn't look at this door but i guess i was i was gonna i thought i was talking to the guy but i guess i approached the door what happened last time you opened come on open up no time to chat i'm here to kill the hag a scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Nobody. That's a decade for each. You're mine for 30 more years, Petal. Oh, interesting. So the door might have been a person. Poor thing. I mean it. Let me through. All right. Is there another way in? The hag will be the least of your problems if you don't open up. Is there another way in? You see an image of blue skies and sunshine as the door shudders a warning. Run. Hmm. Intimidation. Open up or I'll burn you to ashes. If I kill the hag, you'll be free. Persuasion, baby. Always. God, I have so many bonus proficiency bonuses. <laughs> I have like six six points of proficiency. The hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. I will go through that door and I will help you. Let's talk to this guy. No, no, don't look. Mustn't look, mustn't see. Are you all right? Mustn't look at what exactly? Smile as he twitches and whimpers. Mustn't look at what exactly? I see it. I see what's to come. Me, dead, dead, flesh rotten, bone shining. Am, is there a way to save this guy? Quietly observe, I see, I just see your reflection. Hey, look at me. What are you doing? Get out of here. Hey, look at me. No. No! Can't stop! Can't! Gods, don't hurt me! Oh, please, 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 please! What? Why would I hurt you? You're safe with me, I swear. Every time you open your mouth, it gets a little bit more tempting. You're safe with me, I swear. No! No! Monster! My mind dripping! Ooh! He knows. Take a take a deep breath and roar. Look at me. I'm not the mind flayer. I, why why would I need to scare him though? What's the point? Look at me. I'm not a mind flayer. No. no. Mind flayer. Get away. Get away. I want to help this guy. What? I can't help him. That's sad. Okay, we're gonna have to go ahead and kill Anti Ethel in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. This is so fun. I don't want to miss anything or go too far without at least doing some side quests. So even though at the beginning when I recap, I recap a lot of the main quest stuff, but believe it or not, next episode, I, I, I am going to kill Auntie Ethel, okay? Hansel and Gretel have nothing on me in my party. If you have been enjoying the series so far, which I have also been super enjoying, so if you have been don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Like the video or leave me a comment. I do read those and respond. By subscribing, you guys won't miss out on any new videos that come out because I believe it notifies you. It has like a little notification on the side when I do post new videos, which is mostly every single day. So definitely do that and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah.